today we're at one of my favorite companies and without a doubt one of my best sponsors. Today, thanks to Emric and his son Richard, we are going to go through the Powerbox factory. Thank you for coming, Malcolm. And the first thing when we see when we arrive at Powerbox is a little bit of history where this is kind of more their more recent products. Over here we have some of their first ever products, the things that really got them to where they are today. I mean, we have the original Powerbox 40, the 4016, the Expert, which to show how good these are, you still actually see these flying in planes today. So, I mean, however old these are, I mean, I think, I, I believe they're going back, well, they go, 2001. So we're looking at 18 years old and a lot of people are still using these. Just true testament. Again, further testament is the number of awards that they're still receiving. I mean, these two from last, this year, those two from last year, from the FNT magazine for innovation, service quality, product quality, innovation, just top of the line as Powerbox as we know. So no questions really need to be asked. These are obviously your stock. Yes, sir. So these are all products that are in a finished state and we all want to receive. Yeah. Ready to go. So I want one of each. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. You saw it. And over here, this is where packages are made and shipped. The shipping office. Okay, so we have Marianne who receives the orders. And here it goes all over the world to all of us. In this part of the factory, we make all the actual components which go on plates, so the actual power boxes themselves. Now, we can't show you too much detail of how things are done, as power boxes spent years perfecting systems, and we can't show you all the details. However, some fun, interesting facts are things like the fact that the floor is a special material so that the workers have no danger of having electric shocks, right? Uh, they all actually have to wear these uh, armbands for the same reason. All the chairs and even these uh, mats on the tables are all made so that they're anti-electric shock. So everyone is as safe as our models are when we're using power box systems. So safety throughout, from start yeah. to finish, from floor to sky, right? So we've just seen inside where they make all the plated components. This is the other half, the more warehousey style. Basically because they keep running out of space in there because they're just getting bigger and better every time, right? right? So we're here with Danny Diaz who's going to tell us a little bit about, I mean, this is the, obviously we're in the wire section now, so that's a new wire we've got. Yeah, this is the micro wire. It's, um, it's new. We actually came out with this wire. Uh, it's favorable towards pattern airplanes. It's very light and it works well with micro servos, mini servos, mm -hmm. when you want to keep that weight down. So just a little bit smaller servos than standard, basically. Yes. Uh, and then standard, yes. we're still using the premium standard wires for That's everything right. else. We're using premium Go standard on, lift, wire. Lift up the standard one. Oh, it's too heavy. Man. It's too early. Come on, man! Power box makers, you can get, you can pick that up. Ah, oh, it's heavy. Yeah, you don't want all of that in your plane. Just no. just the right amount. No, this maxi <laughs> wire is actually 20 gauge, but the sheathing is small enough to where you can still use them in your standard servo plugs. Yeah. Um, and those big airplanes, you know, like the. You know, like, uh, you know, these companies are coming out with these huge airplanes. This oh, is a yeah. wire to use when you have these big, long runs. Yeah. This is also where they make the Powerbox Blue Max smoke oil. In three liter, we have five liter, and even, oh, what, about a thousand liter. No, that's just where they make it all up. But uh, Danny was actually telling me some good news for you guys across the pond over in the USA. That, uh, what, they're going to have this real soon, right? Yep. We're going to start carrying the Blue Max oil here in the next month or so in the US in one gallon and two gallon containers. Okay, well, chances are, by the time I actually get around to getting back home from here in Germany, get back home, edit and upload, it'll probably almost be online anyway. So That's right. just, if you want some, check it out. Powerbox Americas is your place to go. And don't forget, Powerbox is also now 
main dealer and distributor for MKS servos here in Europe. So, I mean, I absolutely love these things. I've been flying them for five, six years, and still one of the best servers out there, if not the best, in my opinion. So, if you need a server for your next project, and it's a big one, make sure to check out the MKS, and you won't be disappointed. So this is Richard's office. This is where everything happens. The brains <laughs> behind all the crazy and great technology. Yeah. Uh, now, unfortunately, we've had to blur out most of this scene because, well, most of what's in here is still top secret in process and we can't really show you guys as much as we'd love to, but there's some really, really cool stuff coming out. Uh, Richard isn't really going to tell us much about what's going on that's new, but we can show you some of the really latest and greatest stuff that's come out of here. Uh, Richard's got the iGyro SAT, uh, which adds gyro capabilities, three axes, to the Powerbox receivers. So the receivers themselves, they don't have any kind of gyro inside, right? No, the the standard... receivers have no gyro inside, but they will have the software inside. So you just connect the sensor and it's a gyro receiver. Awesome, and you can see this thing is absolutely tiny. Uh, and then everything is set up from the transmitter directly. So yes. with the core telemetry, for maybe lack of a better word, the telemetry programs, exactly. the gyro sat, the gain, everything from the radio. So no computer, no Bluetooth, no, nothing, everything nothing on needed. The radio, it's in the telemetry menu, uh, which we have for all sensors, mm -hmm. even for the receivers, of course. Brilliant. We also have the, uh, well, the PBS P16, P16, which um, is today is not the correct uh, festo fitting. Yeah, we yep. have a T, so you okay. just cut uh, your your tube, yeah, so your pressure tube, and put it in between. It's a metal housing. It's up to 16 bars. Um, so that means that so, so the name does make sense once you know why. So 16 is 16 bar pressure. Exactly. And this is at the moment it's to send you an alert to your transmitter when your pressure gets below exactly. a, a, a value that you establish. And the cool thing is it doesn't it, it, it works with the core, but mm -hmm. also with uh, JD, Fudaba, Krautner and Multiplex. Brilliant. So it's it's an alert system, an alarm for basically any radio that anyone's using, uh, as well as the power box. Exactly. Great. Uh, what about in addition to the alert? It doesn't yet, but in the future, it'll you'll be able to program on the core. Yes, we are planning that uh, you can use telemetry values for not not only for alarming, you also for controlling things. So it's so a fail safe. If, yeah, if, 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 the, it drops if the pressure below. goes down and the alarm comes up, the gear goes out. Brilliant. We also have uh, something that even I hadn't seen yet online, which is the PBS RPM. Now, the Spark Switch Pro already comes with a RPM sensor. Basically, you plug it into the uh, ignition. However, the tower output. Exactly. However, if you, your ignition doesn't have that, or if yes. you want to use a different system, or don't have the uh, Spark Switch Pro, mm -hmm. uh, you can use this instead. So this just wraps around the ignition yes, wire. just around the isolated ignition wire, and it picks up the RPM with the electric field coming out of that. So basically by magic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, and then the last thing that we had that we we're going to show you for now as well was the latest and really amazing new uh, iGyro 3 Extra. I mean, it looks very familiar. We've, we know and love the iGyro 3E, yeah. uh, but that was designed quite a few years ago now. It's had a few minor updates, but this is a true overhaul, right? It's yes, it a was, complete it's a, new thinking to the software. It's a new development. Yeah, it's, it's a true new gyro. So compared to the, the 3E, I mean, I, I've read all the specs, I've spoken with you about it, but how, how would you explain it to, to everyone as to being the, what makes it really the, such a next step? Um, it, it starts with, uh, with the setup, um, how, yeah. how you set it up. Um, you can mount it in any position in the plane as long as it's right angled. Yeah. And um, you, you just have to lift the, the tail and put it to the right mm -hmm. and 
the gyro knows how it's mounted. Yeah, so we have that, that's the similar kind of system to we have in the power boxes where you lift a tail and twist it to one way, right. it, it detects the mounting exactly. orientation. Exactly. And um, the next step is to, to teach the, the center and the end points. It's just by moving, by moving the stick, press the button, learn yeah. for, every, for every surface separate. And um, the cool thing is it detects even um, delta wing or wheel tail. So even if you have a, a differential in your delta, yeah. The gyro uh, can detect that and knows exactly the center. Yeah, so it can, center. it can respect. So, so you have heading. You have heading uh, also in the middle, or for example, if you have um, your ailerons using as flaps, mm -hmm. um, the gyro detects it and doesn't fade out the gain if you if you go the, if you move the ailerons to as a flap. Yeah, of course, because normally when we move any gyro surface from its center, yes, it basically it slowly de out. deactivates yeah, the gyro. Out. So if you have flaps, it would be fully deactivated. But with this yeah. system, it knows that it's flaps and not actually an aileron input, so you still have full aileron. Exactly. Uh, something I think one of the best features that I saw on this uh, was the fact that it, it learns automatically which direction the services have to move as well. Yes. So yes. it's a big problem that people used to have uh, or were concerned with where they didn't really quite understand that if you lift the wing the surface has to go up in the same yeah. direction that you move it and so on. So if you follow so, the setup procedure, uh, we have two manuals, a short one and a, a long one. Yeah. And uh, We'll be making a video yes. anyway so it'll be easy for you guys. <laughs> okay, as long as you follow the setup routine, the, the the gyro, um, the, the, um, the directions are correct. Yeah, so there's no worry, no concern about taking off and having the wrong gyro rectification. Yes. Now, I've never seen that ever. I didn't even think it was possible. <laughs> so, I mean, when we said at the beginning of this video that Richard's a genius and what we have in here is just amazing, that's just a small feature. I mean, as well, this, it, it's a lot more personalizable, right? I mean, the gyro gain, how it reacts to the sticks, mm -hmm. it can really have it a lot softer, a lot harder as well, which is what we know people are asking for. Yes, but we have, we have uh, only, only to name three of them. We have three uh, expert settings, um, something like, or well, it is stick priority. Mm -hmm. um, so as, as more as you move the sticks, the gyro fades out. It can mm -hmm. you can adjust how how much it fades out. Okay, that's new as well. That's new, and um, we also have the it's a lock-in feeling. It 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 means if you make for example a four-point roll, um, you want to see it hard lock-in or, or how hard it soft. really yes. snaps to that position. Exactly. Now and that's the one thing that we know people were asking for. Yeah. what they said that were kind of kind of missing they wanted to see in the next version of the gyro so the people ask for it people yeah. get it i mean that's going to be amazing i think for, for, for 3d jets right that's one of the main things where this is going to be seen yes. to be really really locked in and just and next level wow yeah and the third expert setting is um you can select the gyro characteristics so if you if you have for example a a, a big um, scale plane mm -hmm. you want to you don't want to see a hard locking gyro instead yeah. so you the, can, the famous bounce back when you do a, a yeah, fast roll yeah right? you can you can select the soft characteristic for that mm -hmm. and it looks like a scale plane if you have a, a really fast sport jet or um, if you if you push it hard like Martin <laughs> <laughs> you want to you want to set the characteristics to ultra uh, yeah. It means that yeah. the plane is really hard locking in the. In great, the Sound, sounds great. Position. Really looking forward to uh, trying it and showing everyone how it works. We're going to be, uh, I think this this particular one is going to be a real game changer. We're going to see a lot yeah. of people using this in the future. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome. It's a real honor to be on the wall here at Powerbox as well with all these great, great pilots, great planes. Back when I first met. 
Emmerich and Richard in 2010, the German Acromasters, and I think, I think I'm actually the only guy to have two posters up on the wall. So, yay! <laughs> and there you go. That is how it's all made here at Powerbox Systems. All of those wonderful products and components that we all love to use and fill our models with. I hope you enjoyed the video. A really big thanks to everyone at Powerbox, especially Emmerich and Richard who have taken the time out this morning to show us around. Keep using Powerbox and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you, Martin. So pilots as you, we can need because you say us what is function and what not. Always a pleasure. Thank you. See you in the next one. I'm Martin Pickering and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Subscribing is free and just means that you'll get notified whenever I upload future videos. And with the number of events, adventures and ideas that are coming to the channel, you're not going to want to miss out. So hit that subscribe button. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.